going on everybody it's your boy who else underscore 22 back with another unboxing and today i got this guy the google home voice activated speaker by google now um i was gonna actually pick up the amazon echo dot but after looking at a lot of the reviews everybody was saying it's good uh, however the speaker isn't that loud so i said you know what i'll just wait and i went out picked this guy up and um Hopefully I'm not disappointed. I heard that it's actually pretty good. It's just limited to a lot of the stuff um, like its counterpart from the Amazon Echo um, would be. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Google Home on the side. Let's focus in. Okay. Some things that it does. Tell you what applications it works with. Google Home is powered by the Google Assistant. Ask questions. Tell it to do things. It's your own Google. Always ready to help. Your DJ. Know it all. Stay ahead of the day. Outsmart your home. I'm just telling you some things you can actually play with. Tell it what to do. That's the top of the box, just the Google branding. Bottom of the box just has a serial number. Nothing special. Alright, so let's get to the unboxing. Uh, let's see. Hold the tab right here. Pull it down. Okay. And then the other side, same thing. Hold this red tab. see this is my first time actually getting into the home automation thing hopefully I like it a lot of people I know have the Amazon Echo and they swear by it all right nice presentation so far I guess you pull it. okay all right so this is the actual Google home uh, take a look at that in a minute let's see what else is in here no idea what this is. I guess I'll, I'll find that out later. Some, some reading material, if you will. These are the colors that you can also change the base in. I think I'm going to get the black one, maybe the orange one. I don't know. We'll see. What else is in here? Power supply. Little Google branding on it. What else is in the box? That's it. Nothing else in the box. So that's the unboxing part. It's already over. I'm going to go ahead and actually plug it up. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to set it up on one of my old phones that I'm no longer using. And I'm going to pause the video right here, get back with you guys in a minute. All right. All right, y'all. So we're back. Now, just plug it up. Already got the app downloaded in another phone, and um, just waiting for it to sync up. One thing that I did forget to mention um, earlier in the video was the price. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, will do. Will do. Just give me a second. No need to rush. So, um, actual price is actually going for one twenty nine. I actually picked it up from Best Buy on Friday for 129 plus tax. So you can get it from um, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, uh, even the Google um, Play Store, not the Google Play Store, but the Google Store. Um, what else? Um, it's counterpart, the, the Amazon Echo is actually 180. So that's something I also forgot to mention, but downloaded the app. And um, just, guys, just in case you guys don't know what it looks like, uh, it's the Google Home app. Just download that from the Android. Um, I'm sorry, the Google Play Store and the App Store um, for Apple iPhone and iPod, all that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put my information in right now so we can get started. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know that you would have to touch this button right here to go ahead and add it. And um, it will actually... Uh, sync 
it will actually sync up with uh, I also have a Chromecast by the way so I have Chromecast already connected to my Wi-Fi so I'm going to um, set that up as well with the Google Home so it's just going to be a few minutes let's see so actually searching 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 Okay, so now it says successful, and it says next, your Google Home will play a test sound. So let's click on that test sound. Did you hear the sound? I mean, I did, of course we all did, but I just want to try it again. Okay, so I heard it. Let's hit, I heard it. Um, what room do I want this in? I mean, I'm really not sure, but I guess it'll be the kitchen. Let me see what else, what's the other options. Oh, so wow, okay. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. The kitchen, bedroom, master bedroom, living room, family room, dining room, hallway, front entry, back entry. Okay, front yard, backyard. Wow, I'm not putting this outside. Shed, garage, basement. Where's the man cave? Come on now. Uh. So, I'll just put it, I'll leave it as kitchen. I'll change it another date. No, I don't want to send any crash, anything. Hit continue. And let's see. Get Wi-Fi. Okay, yeah. So, it's setting up my home Wi-Fi right now. Is connected to Google Home, but it's still setting up. Okay, so it says connected to the Wi Fi. Hit continue, and then it gives you a nice message meet your Google Assistant. Google Home is powered by Google Assistant. Ask questions, yada yada yada. Okay, let's sign in and uh, sign in as my regular Gmail. Let's see. So it says get personal results, personal information, calendar, flights. Yeah, I'll do that. Now it's asking me for my address. Uh, we'll skip that part. Uh, let's see. Sorry guys, just give me one moment. Just want to get everything set up so I can give you the actual authentic feel. Okay, so now it asks me how do I want to set up like my music. And I don't have Pandora. I don't know why anybody would. No judgment. No judging. Spotify, I refuse to pay for music. Well, that's a lie because I actually buy music from Google Play. So never mind. I, I won't buy streaming service. It's just my choice. I'm not judging. YouTube music, no thank you. So I'll just keep my Google Play. Let's hit continue. No, now it's asking me to upgrade. I don't, wanna, I don't want any streaming anything. So I'll continue with what I have. Now it's installing an update. And um, what I'll do, I'll pause the video until this update is over because I heard that this update should take about five minutes and I'm not going to have you guys holding for five minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and get right back to it. Oh, never mind. The update is complete. That nice little sound that we heard is what let me know that. All right, so if I hit continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, I will. Now this is what it's telling me to say. Okay, Google. How far away is the moon? 
The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Okay. I continue. Okay, Google. Tell me about my day. Good evening, Colin. It is 10.56 p.m. The weather in Pompano Beach currently is... Okay, Google, stop. Here's the latest news. And then it tells you to continue. Okay, Google, play some music. All right, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Okay, Google, stop. I didn't want to turn it down. I don't want to get copyright on this video, so let's continue. Okay, Google, what can you do? Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say, play the name game with the name Jeff, or play Mad Libs. To find out more, you can look at the full list of suggestions in the Google Home app. Okay, Google. What time is it in London? The time in London, UK, is 3.57 a.m. That's pretty early over there. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. How do you get rid of butterflies in your stomach? Stop eating caterpillars. <laughs> That's so corny. Let me see how if I could actually turn the volume up by touching this. Okay, I think that's maximum volume. Let's see, let's see. Google, okay Google. When is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on Sunday, May 14th, 2017. Well, that's pretty loud. Let's turn it down. I'm not trying to have your headphones get ripped off. Okay. And um, what else? What else? What else? What can we do? Uh, I really don't know what to ask. I'm, I'm actually um, stunned right now. I don't have um, like the Philips Hue lights or a thermostat where well, I'm actually, you know, working on that. But um, I'm really anxious and interested in actually working with this. I'm also going to actually pick up um, the Amazon Echo Dot. I do have a couple of speakers that I can actually plug it into. So, you know, just something cheap. Um, fifty dollars, not too bad. And um, let me see how it works out. So, but this, I'm definitely anxious to see how it works. And uh, I heard that you can take the base off. I have no idea. Oh, I guess you just pull it. All right. So now those are the speakers. That's why it sounds so loud. It actually sounds pretty good. I know I just turned. I know I just turned it off, but it does. Oh, okay. Magnetize. Let's plug it back in. In there. There's a mute button on the back if you don't want Google listening to your convo. Some Google branding. Nothing much on the bottom. And um, that's the speaker. So guys, sorry I know the video is a little longer than expected. But I um, wanted to share with you the Google Home device. It just came out November 4th in the States. And I think November 6th. Um, every, everywhere, I think in London and other English speaking countries, don't quote me. But um, this has been who else underscore 22 uh, back with another unboxing. And I think I'll give it about a week and I'll give you guys an honest opinion on it. That way, I can have time to play with it. Love y'all and peace to all y'all, yo.